it is Wednesday morning and I'm just trying to get a couple like maybe an hour or two in a fishing so decided to stop by I'm still feeling kind of sick at like I think like food poisoning from up in Anaheim the past weekend so I'm gonna do like maybe an hour or two of fishing and head back got a small window let's do it Nice and sunny out. It's like 10.30, 11 o'clock. Not sure. Hopefully I get something. One or two. If I don't get anything, it's fine. It's nice. The water's calm. No wind. Nice and sunny. Tide is going low right now. High tide was about five hours ago. So the tide's going out for the next hour or two. It's gonna go down about like four feet. Four feet. Oh, a bird just caught a fish right in front of me, right there. Little tiny, little tiny bait fish. Same thing last time, how can a bird catch a fish and I can't? I'm just throwing these uh, three inch slams. Let's <sighs> oh, hope I get something. I'm working this bait slow at the bottom. I get a bite. It's a lot of debris in the water. I've never seen this much up far out. It's like giant chunks everywhere. Rigging up the pink color. I look down right here. There's a crap ton of boil. All right, just calm down. So it's still boiling a little bit. Walking over here about 50, 60 yards, 50 yards from my current location. Over here for a little bit, cast out, see if I get any of them. I don't know what's boiling. Probably macro, but it's better than anything right now. Water clarity is pretty clear. Maybe about five feet clarity. Oh yeah, they're still boiling. Whatever it is, I need to start carrying my top water with me once again. I've been throwing soft plastic for the past month and a half, two months. Yeah, I don't know, you guys see it? They're boiling like crazy right over there. If you see that sailboat, right in front of it. Oh, it's going wild. I'm trying to see what it is. Oh man, that's, that's intense. Oh shoot, it's a lot of boil. You can see it from here. Wish I had zoom on these GoPros, but my God, they are boiling nonstop. It's a whole school of macro right in front of me. Holy G. Come on, this always happens when something good is about to go down. My cast gets all destroyed. Oh my god, that is insane. i never seen boils like that before. Oh, the boils all gone. Okay, I missed it. I really want to get it out too, they're all gone. God damn it. Chasing these little boils. Oh.
Got one right here. Pick one off from that boil. <laughs> Oh man, they're boiling non-stop, man. I wish I brought a bucket for my mom. Number two, <laughs> it's right down there. Oh, what about number three? All right, that was fun. Let's see if they come back. trying to see which way they're headed or they're coming back this way <laughs> oh man they're biting it like crazy this is fun It's super shallow too. Oh, they're gone. Oh, my God, they're boiling right in front of me. This is, this is fun. Go back and get more. That's three macro that I picked out from the boil. Trying to find where they are currently boiling. So I'm gonna cast right over here because they seem to be coming back to the right. If I had a cast master or something, I would have killed them a long time ago. I'm using these slams, so it seems to be more uh, more fun getting them on a you know soft plastic than it is on a, a crocodile or some sort. Unless I'm harvesting them non-stop, then I'll bust out the, you know a jerk big crocodile or whatever. There's been a lot of stingrays swimming back and forth. Oh, the boil's all gone. They dipped out. No bueno. Y'all went home. Oh, they're back. They are back. Right in front of me. Right in that pocket right there. Oh, head in his mouth. There we go. He chased it down. Got him. That's a bigger one. Oh, my mom will kill me right now if she sees me releasing all these macro. Here you go, number four. I see. I see the ripples.
Here we go. Five. so fun it's so much fun chasing these guys it's hilarious it's like just picking them off it's like sight fishing for a freaking macro it's tons of fun especially if you can bring your kids out like to the bottom of these rocks and whatnot keep them safe and just cast out a little bit it's golden they're right in front of me watch i'm gonna get another one right now Tom Ham's Lighthouse. I was way down, way down over there casting and I got up to change my bait. I turn around and I look in the water, I see all these boils like popping off. I was like, ooh, has to be something over there. Came over here, there's a whole herd of mackerel. Man, I feel selfish for now, catching them all for myself. Wish I could share this moment with someone. It's fun, this is definitely fun. Especially, I'm, I'm getting them all on a, a 3 8 ounce. 3 8 ounce owner dart head, 3 inch, the new uh, pink color from Slam. It's like a one out hook, I'm not even sure, but that was pretty awesome picking them off. I picked five off, it would have been like eight or nine. I, I missed a couple. Would have been way more too if I didn't get that freaking backlash that took me five minutes to pull out. <sighs> hey, I'll just chill for a little bit, see if we come back around. Oh, I see breezers. Oh yeah, I see them. There they go. There they are. There they are. They're coming up. No. Yep, right there. See them. Saw, saw a couple bubbles. Couple of bubbles that way. Oh, oh they're way out. I can't cast that far yet. With all these rocks behind me, no. Most definitely cannot cast that far. Uh, they probably know, like, oh, yeah, that Asian guy over there is, like, taking our kids. So, let, let, let's, let's, let's go this way. Let's go this way. And I'm over here, like, come on, man. I'm letting y'all go. I didn't bring a bucket. If y'all see a bucket, then, you know, don't bite. It's pretty hot, though. I'm still wearing my hoodie. Too lazy to take it off. You know, this moment right here represents what this hat says. Boil. So, <laughs> there was some boils out here. Macro boils. So, uh, I'm gonna chill a little bit, see if they come back around. And actually, let me try to get, get under these structures. Let me bass comes up and play. Cause those macro are pretty good size for about like 15, 16 inch basses. The first couple of little macro I caught, they're probably about four, 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 four or five inches. It was a sight to see though, I wish the camera caught it. Is when the, the whole school of macro, the whole school of macro came up and they were coming up like, like tuna when they would come up and feed the surface. They would come up sideways, all their mouths open and come back down and go back up. That was pretty sick. I wish I had that, that footage for you guys. I mean, a better camera to zoom in on that. That's pretty gnarly. Or even better if I was up there at the lighthouse and looking down and checking them out. That would have been even better. But hey, catching them is just as good. So five macro, huh? Within a five, 10 minute span. Yeah. Could have been more. Stumbling all over these rocks, chasing macro, man. Just waiting for that boil. Oh, there you go. There they blow. They probably went back and regrouped with the ones I caught and decided to come back out. Like, okay, we got all five y'all. Cool. Back to herding circles. There they are, right there. Oh, that was a bite. 
He bit it and probably went to tell his homies, hey man, that pink stuff right there, bro. Not the good stuff. Not the good stuff. Let's try it again. They're right in front of me now. Oh, they finally figured it out. Yep, pink stuff, not good stuff, guys. Go away. Pink, no good. Pink, no good. It's hot. You guys probably see the sweat on my face. But yeah, balancing off these rocks right, in, right under me right here. So, chasing these boils. It's pretty fun, but it slowed down a little bit. Maybe I spooked them, but I caught some. Missed the last two bites. Let's see if they come back around. I'm gonna wait it out probably another five minutes. If they don't come back around, then I'll just call it because I only have a short window to fish and I have a long day. It feels good to be out. I'm still kind of feeling crappy. My food poisoning messed me up. Korean barbecue, dude. And all I had was beef. I don't know how I got sick off of that. But be careful when you guys go eat Korean barbecue. Some of the meat might be old, some of it might be new, some of it might just kill you. But, yep. Looks like right over here, they're doing some dolphin training. Or not dolphin, seal training. Or feeding the seals, I don't know. But there's some cages on there. There is a seal in the cage, there's one out. This lady whipping a string around while they went under there. Saw a seal come up to the side and they were feeding him. Oh, well, with that seal here, there goes all that macro. Oh man, what a day. Ooh, what a morning. It was a little hour and a half session. Managed about six, six macro chasing boils. Only had about an hour, but I pushed it another 30 minutes. Walked around, checked out some stuff. Tide's going down. It's garbage right now. Boils all gone. Wind's picking up. So, this is it. Thanks for watching, guys. So, till next time. If you guys want to fish with me, hit me up on Instagram. We'll plan something out.